Hey Jackie, welcome. Can y'all hear me, see me good enough? I'm sitting outside on the patio about to eat some Jamaican fries. Stopped by this little restaurant while I was on my walk. Tell me about y'all's business. This is Black Women in Grants, so let's talk about getting grants for your business. Y'all wanna do that? Then I'm headed to a meeting where um, one of the biggest cities here in Georgia got a grant for a cup of meal. And they're looking to start community initiatives which impact local businesses like us. So um, if you're new here, welcome. about to head to a meeting where um, some of the cities and towns in Georgia, the smaller towns, have been getting grant funds for the city. And they just sent out an email to some of the local business owners um, of that some of the grant funding will be given to community initiatives. So if you've ever been here, we talk about social mission, social impact, that trickles all the way down to your literal neighborhood front door for community initiatives. like. It's really exciting and interesting, and I'm happy to be a part of the conversation and bring y'all along. So if you're new here, put hashtag FYP. Let me know you're new here. That'll also let you know, let me know that I can, that you can see me and hear me while I wait on my fries to come out. If you want to tell me about your business, you can do that as well. If it's your first time seeing me, hey girl, hopefully you can see me. I feel like I'm really dark. I'm sitting under an umbrella, but I'm Dr. A.J. Austin. I, um, myself and the ladies that I mentor in my mentorship for grant users, grant applicants, grant winners, we've collectively won over $190,000. If I got my numbers right, I just got my numbers yesterday. Don't have them memorized. You see my eyes? <laughs> Girl, it was. Uh, I'm sitting under the umbrella. That's why. Can y'all hear me? I think that's the most important part. Because I am sitting like right by the highway. So it's really noisy. Um, but anyway, tell me about your business. And if you're new here, thank you for being here. Make sure you follow this page. I'm usually live on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, 11 a.m. Eastern. Talking to y'all about all things grants for black women, for profit, small business owners. Hello, Deanna Joy. I see you, girl. I can't see much, but I see you. <laughs> um, Deanna has won over $55,000. She's a member of our mentee crew over at blackwomeningrants.com. So come and join us. It's only $97. Come hang out with us and learn about grants at a deeper level. Um, hopefully I pick up some tips from this meeting that help you guys that want to know about grants specific to your area. So, um, I'm not sure about other states, but I'm learning that here in Georgia, um, that there have been grants awarded from, I'm guessing the federal level all the way down to uh, like local communities and especially communities that are like building since COVID. I know my um, one of my communities nearby, a lot of the businesses shut down and never returned. And so they had these dilapidated buildings that had to be renovated or gentrified, if you will. And so now they're giving something called facade grants. And that's the train. <laughs> facade grants are designed to help the facade or the front of a 
reconstructed building or an older building get a facelift if you will so um, they're seeking businesses with brick and mortar locations here in, throughout the city of Atlanta and along what they call the belt line here which is a mile upon mile walking trail throughout the city they have businesses um, built along the belt line that'll be getting grants a facade grant etc I met a lady yesterday and we talked about that um, and so I'm going to a local town hall meeting about the grants that different cities closer to me that represent what they call the business district here in Georgia they'll be distributing some of the grant funds for what they were calling community initiatives so when I come on here and chat with you guys about your business and I ask you let me ask you guys because many of you are new if you're new here put hashtag FYP hashtag FYP if you're new here, that means that you may not have been a part of the conversations that we have about having what's known as a social impact when it comes to these grants. Grants always look beyond you just needing money to purchase stuff. They don't care about that. There are businesses all over the world that need money to buy inventory, pay staff, hire, pay themselves, get uh, marketing, and they don't care. What they're looking for is what these communities here are showing us offline. They're looking for your community initiative. How are you taking what you do in your business to make a bigger impact as a whole in your community? For example, if you get a grant for your business, how can you use about 10% of the money that you win to give back to your local community offline and online? So real quick, give me some examples of some things you guys may have thought about doing in your business. You haven't done it yet, or maybe you started, but a grant could really help you and think outside of what you already get paid to do or what you will soon be getting paid to do just through regular business transactions um, so things like volunteer programs educational programs give back programs um, back to school drives trainings anything you could think of that's not necessarily gonna make you money but it will impact your community on a local, maybe even global level. Have y'all thought about anything like that? Let me know. Real quick, you gotta be quick because my food about to come and I'm gonna ignore y'all. So, if you wanna chat, get your questions answered, know how to stand out on grant applications, now's the time to chat. We got like five good minutes. I'm the only one here, so it shouldn't take long for my order to come out. More people will be coming. They usually play music. It's black owned. It will get loud in a minute. So talk to me while you can hear me see me a little bit for the sunset and I get to this meeting uh, they grilling in the back so they about to get crunk I'm about to eat and go so I just wanted to jump on here and hang out with y'all before they get lit and they gonna be me I'm be gone give back programs free tax prep food giveaway okay Jackie I see you anybody else want to share with their community impact will do so for those of you who are like how can I find a grant where do I find a grant how do I win a grant? How do I qualify for a grant? Where are the grants? Tell us about grants. It doesn't matter if you find a grant to apply for if you don't have a strategy that's going to allow you to stand out on these grant applications. If you've ever applied for a grant and you're like, man, I haven't won yet. I keep applying. I'm about to give up. Does it work? Is it legit? You're not winning and you're not going to win if you don't have a standout application strategy or a grant acquisition strategy you want to go in with a strategy to win the funds and other opportunities user says i want to get struggling first graders and help them with their reading and math skills so user since you and jackie are the only two talking to me right now talk to y'all everybody else i don't know what y'all doing oh uh, take this off well i like that that's cute no i'm not a mom this is my college roommate's uh clothing line brand that i support her but I gotta say that I'm auntie anyway <laughs> so think of it like this a grant is gonna say what's your community initiative they're gonna say what's your social impact they're gonna say how can you take a portion of this money that we may award you and how are you gonna bless your community and then when you say well I'd like to give back through different programs like tax prep food giveaway um, helping struggling first graders with their reading and math skills they're then gonna say well how are you already doing this what would y'all answers be? They're going to say, how are you already taking time out of your busy schedule 
as a small business owner, a black woman, small business owner, how are you already doing this? Have y'all started these initiatives? Are you looking to start the initiative? If you started these types of initiatives, do you have literal receipts? Like, okay, cool. And it's okay if you're not doing it. It looks really good if you are already volunteering, so good job on that. Changing financial literacy to be the normal seat in every community by curriculum courses and programs. And then um, Deanna knows we keep our receipts. I'm trying to figure out what's going on next door, and I can't see past the shrubs. I see traffic slowing down. Um, <laughs> so it's okay if you haven't started the initiative yet, but what they're now going to want to know is something that I'm going through right now. They're going to say, okay, so we see that you have a heart to serve your community with a portion of the grant that you may be winning. They're going to say, have you looked into any, um, I'm trying to bring it down to my level of what I'm going through right now. So we're partnering with our local economic development center here in our city to host our upcoming event this June here in Atlanta. So they're going to ask you, have you started looking for places to partner with for free, like your local library, always free, after school programs, spaces within the school cafeteria, partnering with counselors, things like that. So you have to show receipts. You know, I've met with this person. I've talked with this person. This is what happened. Thank you so much. Can I get a to-go already? No, I ain't going to be able to finish all that. But just get a um, box. Yeah, I should have said. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Um, hold on, y'all. It's my food. I don't know if y'all can see it. <laughs> can y'all see that? I can't see if y'all can see it or not. But anyway... We're gonna try some of these and then I'm gonna go. I can't never eat and then walk because I'd be feeling heavy. So I ain't too far away from home. But um, anyway, so they're gonna say, tell us about meetings you've already had, um, people that you've already reached out to. Like I, when I reached out to the Economic Development Center, they told me their fee to host it there. Thank you. They told me their fee to host it there. Started at 225, my event. So they're gonna wanna know what have you already started doing you'll feel me and let me know if you have questions I'm happy to answer those questions about how this works hold on y'all I'm trying to get my little package to keep from blowing away while I eat a few fries talk to y'all and then wrap it up pay my tab If a grant says, you know, what are you already doing, you let them know that their grant funds could potentially be um, applied to the cost of reserving a meeting space to tutor your kids or host the trainings or prepare the classes or use your curriculum for the community. Y'all see what I'm saying? you're already volunteering your literal receipts of community impact are pictures of you at the volunteer site doing the work in action those are also types of pictures that you include in video essay submissions for some of these grants that are going to say you know tell us who you are what you do why you do what you do who you do it for and if you have pictures and videos of you volunteering saying here's my community initiative that I've already started and that I can use grant funds to help further and then you got pictures you got videos you might have recommendations from the um, volunteer coordinators you might have if you're doing this through just your business and you're coming in like one of our one of our students Karen she is a mobile seasonal baker and so on her off seasons she uses her new newly leased commercial kitchen to bake desserts for the homeless whether it's the holiday season she partners with local shelters and so her initiative is to get the food to the shelters 
get feedback from the people. Eating the food is yum, it's good. And then when she applies for grants, she can say, hey, I gave this amount of food. Here's how much it cost me to prepare the food. Here's receipts of people receiving the food. Here's our pictures, our videos. Here's a statement from the food bank coordinator, etc. Y'all see how this works? That's community initiatives. So when it comes to getting the grant funds, she has her receipts from the food ingredients, the time that she was in her commercial kitchen, the lease, because she still has to pay per use for the lease on the commercial kitchen. So all of that goes into play when you're doing your numbers for grants. So grants are not a money grab. They're not, let me just apply to see if I can get it. Let me just apply because I need some money. It has to go beyond just what you say you do in your business. This is how you stand out to start get, garnering the attention of these grants and not sounding like everyone else. So when you're coming in with a strategy like that, or as my assistant Sage calls it, a grant acquisition strategy, GAS, you got a little bit more gas on that application. You're not worried about it being saturated or competitive or like, am I going to get it? You go in with confidence applying for these opportunities, knowing that eventually you're going to win something. What Brother Denzel say? We leave here with something. So, are y'all picking up what I'm putting down? If so, put hashtag FYP. If this is helping, if it's making sense, I know it's a little noisy, um, but uh, I want to make sure you guys get where I'm going with this. User says I'm going to talk with my mayor. Oops, my left is going away. Hold on. Talk with my town mayor to use a building and get data from the school. So, yeah, have your mayor write a letter about your meeting, or you write the letter, have your mayor sign it. I, too, have a meeting um, to get on the books with my mayor about what we got going on. Can you, yes, but can you do that for me? Yes. Because it's going to blow away. I'm on a uh, live on TikTok. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> I'm trying to do it one hand. So, yeah, have the mayor um, write the letter, recap the meeting, or maybe she'll have her assistant doing it. You have a good one. And then um, use that. Also, like, do, like, the day in the life. Film that meeting. You know, maybe send a screenshot of the agenda or a screenshot of the invitation to have the sit-down meeting. Those are all receipts. It doesn't necessarily have to be a monetary value. Um, Jackie, uh, this is the perfect time for tax prep, ain't it? We we do what next month. So even if you take one student, it doesn't have to be a full class. But again, get the pictures, get the angles, get the receipts, get the testimonials, submit that with your applications. And that's how you stand out from the others. Thank you. Okay. Bring another fork too, please. Okay. Okay. Um, so yeah, volunteering is good. I told you about the strategy for volunteering. If y'all have more questions, let me know. I'm happy to break down what those strategies could look like because that's what it's about, having a strategy. If you're trying to go in like a know-it-all, like a lady I met yesterday, she claimed it has made over 900000 uh, in her business. She can't quite hit a million. She needs 300000 Thank you. Um, but she won't. She's not open. She's won grants before. But I'm trying. I didn't even try to help her at some point. I'm just like, okay, well, you act like you know it all. So good luck. Because being almost at a meal, it's easier to reach that if you're open to getting feedback. And so she wouldn't listen. And I'm like, okay. And then I just thought of her answer this morning. I was like, too bad she wasn't open-minded because there are non-traditional paths you can take to where you don't have to go out and get loans. You don't have to do traditional fundraising. You don't have to, um, okay, here come a big train, y'all. Hold on. Oh, they can't blow the horn over here. It's still loud, though. Um, so there are ways that you can still meet your grant goal, but if you can't look at it as a money grab. You can't look at it as, you know, I need to get this money real quick so I can call myself a millionaire. You can't think of it like that. But there was another lady at the meeting that I was at yesterday. She's a nonprofit. They serve over half a million people doing the same type of work as the bigger nonprofits with food banks here in Atlanta. And, um, you know, she has access to the same funding or the same ability to get the funding. Oh, let me get my payment ready. And so, yeah, hopefully this is helping y'all. If you got questions, go ahead and put them in the comments. I'm multitasking. It's a nice day out here, so people outside. I'm trying to be situationally aware while I talk to y'all. I took one bite of my food out and came here. And got, I just stopped by this restaurant on my little walk so I can say I've been. <laughs> Let me get her my um, payment. 
Um, okay, let me read the comments. Told my mom her birthday gift will be me feeling. Oh, how cool. Now, hey, tell her that value now. I know that's right. Yes, volunteering can absolutely turn into clients. Hey, Solo. How can I showcase me needing transportation to be bigger impact? So walk me through that. When you said transportation to be bigger impact, um, who is that that needed? Tell me what you mean, Deanna, so I can um, help you out. Somebody else was asking about, I think it was Mia. She has the non-medical transport. Oh, and I think we were breaking down her strategy about like getting other vans to do her transport. But yeah, it just depends on how you want to use the transportation. So let me know what you mean by that and I can try to help you. Okay, Jackie says she's working on tax prep now, just not for free yet. And Jackie, your free doesn't necessarily have to mean your time where you're spending one-on-one -on -one time with people. Your free could be you've trained someone to do the free version. Your free could be, you know, you have a training program for people who want to become tax preparers. You train them, but in order for them to get certified through you or trained officially through you, they have to go volunteer for free 100 hours or whatever. Like kind of like the beta sites. I'm starting to see those signs in my neighborhood, etc. So, So um, your free could be a book on what to do. Your free could be a series of videos. So for example, here with Black Women in Grants, I have a mentorship over at blackwomeningrants.com. It's only $97. And it's usually $297. We have 225 people in that program right now who have gotten this program for 97 bucks or somewhere near that price. And so what that looks like is, instead of saying I've lost money, I can say I've donated over $66,680 in my services for free. Saving my mentees money, grant can come in and make up the difference. almost done anyway there we go there's the caboose <laughs> sheesh I'm so used to that growing up in the country child we sleep through that but anyway y'all couldn't hear me and I ain't feel like yelling um I forgot what we was talking about yeah the lady wasn't coachable child but what's going to happen it's so funny because she wanted to connect but i went i'm like mm -mm, you're not a good connection for me so i just kind of ignored her i'd be acting funny when i want to especially after you act funny to me but uh we're now all on a um email list it's only 10 of us that was at this event and so they added us out to an email list and so everybody got well the people that wanted to have my contact info got my contact info so i'm on this list and i know she's gonna go look me up because she's one of those type and i already told her about y'all here at in the um tiktok community 63,000 of y'all so if you're not following this page make sure you follow this page i gotta go in like 10 minutes so i can make it to the meeting in time but um yeah she'll look me up and try to get my help and I ain't got nothing for her. i do but i'm gonna give it to somebody who's ready to receive it anyway are you familiar with grants available in maryland no but you can do a quick online search and just put that grants in maryland and see what pop up looking for grants to establish your business your first time here what to do go to blackwomeningrants.com come join us in a mentorship program 
the understand transportation, no current vehicles at all. So help me understand what you're trying to get vehicles for, Deanna. And let me make sure I understand that. Jackie says you're in that program. Okay, you're in our mentor program. It's about, hmm, it's thinking outside of the box, but also knowing how to tell the story of you not even knowing the box existed. And so we're going to be doing some trainings on that coming up soon, especially during our live event here in Atlanta in June, um, where I show y'all what that looks like. But it's stuff inside the mentorship right now over at blackwomenandgrants.com um, that'll show you how I've been winning grants using this method that I'm talking to you about. Worthy says, oh, wait a minute, I'm sorry, I'm clicking stuff. Can anyone join your platform for $97? So it's for black women, for profit, small business owners that are seeking grants for their small business. And it's teaching you the methods that women like Deanna Joy, who's in our chat today, are using to win. We've won a collectively well over six figures in funding in the last few weeks here on the Black Women in Grants page and blackwomenandgrants.com. So go to the website, check out what it's all about. It's a $97 scholarship price today. I got two spots open for that. So it's first come, first serve. Um, so that's that. The other says, need a vehicle in there. Oh, you need a... Oh, I'm thinking you need something to transport clients. I was like, how does a vehicle work in accounting? And like, okay. So you need a car car. You need like a, what do they call it? My accountant always talks about, what does he call it? I don't know. Whatever you file on your taxes to say, I use this car for business purposes. So like yesterday, I could write off my um, trip to ugh, the event that took an hour to get home and an hour to get there. Two hours of my precious time. Today I can write off the meeting, but I'm walking. So <laughs> my time to walk to the meeting. You have two. <coughs> Not business miles. <coughs> but what, what you tell your tax person that you use your car for. It's what the insurance calls it. I don't know. It's some word I'm looking for. So, Deanna, you're saying you need a car car, like a like personal transportation that you can also use for business kind of thing. Because uh, you might have to ask Risa Tisa about that girl. She just got her Hyundai. She here in Atlanta. <laughs> I don't know nothing about that. Other than saving your grant money and purchasing a car. That's what I did with one of my last grants. So, I have a second car. It's child at the shop. I don't know when or if they'll ever finish it but uh it needed some work i bought it from a private um seller it's a cute little car i look forward to driving it but that's what i did with some of my grant money just took some of it and and bought it yep you have to be an atl regular oh, okay <laughs> where are you deanna you in one of the carolinas where you at Huh? I had one bite. I'm going to finish it at the house. <laughs> oh, East Tennessee. Okay. Okay. Tennessee, Lord. Um, I'm trying to think. I've seen the ones that give you like a year. Oh, let me. Okay. I've seen the ones that are. Um, what was the one? Oh, Progressive sponsored one last year, I want to say. But you have to read the fine print of those types of quote-unquote grants because they'll grant you the car for like a year. And then you got to give it back or start paying the payment. Which, you know, that could be a blessing. You know, give you a year head start, year to save up. And who knows? So something like that may be feasible. So look at the old Progressive grant um, from last year. They may bring it back. You may see more car companies do something like that, but I've seen them, and I think Verizon, um, but Verizon gave you like a hot box or, is it a hot box? What is it, a hot spot? The little mobile internet boxes and um, like a series of their tech. So like a phone, a tablet, computer. 
And this is the extra box. I, can you take this so yes, don't blow away? Okay. And just tap it. Yes, ma'am. You can either tap or insert. Okay. Let's see if I think you have a little more. There we go. Hold on, yeah. <laughs> okay, where where is she down here? Let me know. It's a connection error. Oh, <laughs> okay. What else? Um maybe even what i've learned too in this space you got to be open to the different modes of travel so like for the event you got i'm just starting this one I'm okay gonna start this payment so we can do it on here and see if this one works it's not gonna go through twice is it no ma'am it, it failed okay. I, I just want you to see if it okay so what is it the internet connection I, I, I don't know sometimes that one they just need to be restarted okay okay i think it just and then sometimes the Wi-Fi be white or acting up and it'll just make it, you know, cut off. So yeah, put your other questions. I'm gonna um, wrap up and then head out to the meeting. But if y'all have more questions, just put it in here. Like, I'll let you do that. I want this thing. So cute. Like I love them, but somebody dropped my little thing one day. Oh, that's probably what it is. I was like, I better fix it. I'm good. Oh, I was very sad. Yeah, that's cute. Thank you for your help. Thank you so much. Don't forget this. That's gonna be in the road in a minute. Before it be uh, right. Faith. Oh, okay, she's not too far. I actually, that's where the Big Lots is up here. <laughs> I went to that one at least twice, girl. So when I was at Big Lots last week, I was in Fayetteville and they got something else. Um, What is it called? Bargain Hunt. I said I was going to go back. Did that thing do it twice? I think it did it twice. And I'm going to have to. Hold on, y'all. Oh, don't. Hold on, my banking app was trying to kick me off the sick time. I think it's going to take... I'm going to have to... Yeah, okay. So anyway, I'm going to go back up there for day five below. And they um, they got a thrift store called Park Thrift Avenue. They got a Goodwill. I did a drive-by in their um, pop shelf. I love a good pop shelf. But anyway, I, that's all I wanted to jump on here and chat with y'all about. Just... uh. Community initiatives that grants are sponsoring that if you can line your initiative up with the grant, it's easier to send out on the applications. Also, when it comes to travel, Deanna, this is what I was going to say. Be open to some partnerships with like local airlines. So, you know, it may be easier to get one of like the, the Millie Foundation that did the travel, the conference travel. Just getting creative as you lead up to finding a grant for more permanent transportation. If you can link travel to conferences, summits, classes, trainings, events that your airline um, or airfare hotel and grand, ground transportation could be sponsored. That's more in line with professional development goals, you growing as a leader, especially if you're bringing like a member of your team or if you're partnering, let's say you tell the grant that you're gonna fly to Atlanta, come to an event to partner with an organization that meets your social mission, and then here's the fees. Here's how much my ticket costs. Here's what we're gonna be doing during the partnership. Here's how long I'm gonna stay. All of that would make sense and a lot of sense on the accounting side. So when they ask for literal receipts, it's easier to get a grant that has been sponsored by an American Express, Delta Airlines, etc., for something like that. Cause it's like a one and done. Grants don't necessarily wanna be your final destination. They don't wanna be your um, what is it, end all be all? They're like, we can dedicate a portion to your goal. So what is your goal? What is your mission? What is the total you're needing? Let us give you a portion versus we ain't your paycheck. We can't because it's not enough. Like that's what that lady was saying yesterday. She wanna, she, I don't know her reason for needing 300K, but she's like, oh, I don't need no little 10K grant. And I'm like, but if you say you've won grants for 10K, 
go win 300k worth of grants and be done with it because they're one time they're not going to keep paying you just to satisfy your 300k need you feel me especially if you don't have a social mission attached to it so when you can come to them with saying yes we need 300k here's why here's what it's going to benefit the community here's where you come in mr or mrs grant check writer here are the receipts to how i'm already doing some of this work in my hood and here's some goals that we have so like with the millie education grant that just um, was awarded i don't know if they've announced it yet but i know ashley applied so they've um they've sent out letters to people who did or didn't get it i'm sure it's another one about to be announced to their winners and then they're giving feedback on the applications but they already have their budget set so they don't care that you have a 300k goal if the grant is only for 5k or 10k you know you can find 100k million dollar grants but you really gotta you know step it up right uh, mastercard been sponsoring that hello Alice grant for years years so yeah and then they have amex here at the um, Atlanta airport has their own private lounge concierge service etc everybody trying to get into um, and those things can be yeah they can be underwritten we'll say but it just depends on the goal there are so many partnerships especially here in Atlanta that I've seen um, one recently a lady that her and I started our business in the same city my hometown of Douglasville Georgia here in Atlanta and we spoke on the stage for SBA, the Small Business Association. And then she got a partnership with Coca-Cola, who has this mega headquarters in downtown Atlanta. So she hosts her event. I don't know if she still does that. But the last time I seen her, she was hosting her events in the Coca-Cola headquarters. And then another uh, TikTok influencer who also lives in my city. I don't know how close we are, but I know we're in the same city, um, which is relevant depending on where you are in Atlanta. But she just spoke at uh, Coke headquarters and I sent her a message. We don't know each other yet, but I was telling her, you know, um, to reach out because she didn't reach. She went and spoke on a panel in the same room that my other friend has the partnership with through Coke. And I was telling her, you know, let me know if you want me to tag along and film your videos of you speaking in action because those are literal receipts because she's working on brand partnerships and things like that. But she travels the globe and she's new to speaking and all that. So. I'm in it, like trying to help anybody that I can with what I know works. So, there are partnerships and sponsorships that you won't have to look for if you're just in some of the right rooms. Um, did you do, Deanna, did you do the NASDAQ? Um, they had an information session yesterday or today, and they sent the recap. I can forward you the recap because it talks about their other programs that they have. Here's one that they do where they give the um i know i sent y'all this on the email list um those of you that are in the mentorship they have that internship program and so for my interns they make you you know write out job descriptions and so you can have an intern just on the project of finding you grant opportunities unique grant opportunities to help you secure transportation you know, and that's all they do is the research and send you the information. But it's like your second set of eyes and they'll give you up to two free, re two free interns for the summer in partnership with universities to where they have to have um, volunteer hours and community service hours. So it's partnerships like that that'll get you close to your grant goal, your transportation goal um, and get you some help on finding these opportunities because the sponsorships are already made when Office Depot, Office Mac, Regions Bank, Target, FedEx, Chase, all these banks have already written these checks because, you know, you know about the fiscal year and all that, bro. Um, and so, yeah, now you just have to meet them where they are on the local level where the partnerships are. So anyway, that's all I got. I'm going to head home double check my calendar i actually left the house thinking i was going to one meeting got there found out it was on saturday so that means i missed some other meeting then i got another email about another meeting about the grants happening in 30 minutes i got about a 10 minute walk home freshen up and then either walk back or drive probably drive because then by the time this is over it'll be close to getting dark I don't want to be walking at dark time. At dark 30. So anyway.
if y'all have more questions and you're in the mentorship, you can always email me. Um, and we can chat about your grant questions. If you're not in the mentorship yet, head over to www.blackwomeningrants.com. Blackwomeningrants.com. Come join us. And that's all I got. Until we meet again, my friends, remember, there's someone somewhere. They're waiting on you to walk in your destiny so they can walk into theirs. Because it's when you let your own light shine as a future grant winner, you're giving others permission to do the same. And when you impact one life, just know that you impact generations. Thank y'all for being here. Next time y'all see me, it'll be a lot quieter. Um, I will be back either later tonight if I have time or first thing in the morning, meaning 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So set your alarms, follow this page, and I'll see y'all soon. God bless. Bye, future grand winners.